Are you a Christian or do you believe in God or anything like that? I am a Christian. I'm a practicing Christian. Do you believe homosexuality is a sin or that it's wrong? No. I, I personally have like trouble believing in a higher power just based on like sort of science. But he'll say, depart from me, I never knew you. Does that scare you that that could be you? In your opinion, do they need to seek repentance? So Arthur, where are we? What? Arthur, what are your thoughts on God? I see you got some tattoos of crosses on you. Yeah, I got one on my chest too, so <laughs> I don't know. I was just trying to cover up a tattoo. So th there's really no significance to them? No. <laughs> okay. What are your thoughts on God? I didn't grow up religious, so I, I honestly haven't thought about it a lot. I've never been in like a sort of setting where I've had to. Okay. Um, but I, I, don't, I wouldn't say like I have a super strong feelings, like believing in him or sort of that not believing in him. Okay. Either way. Does the cross mean anything to you? If, you know, not on the tattoo, but the actual cross? Yeah, Jesus died. Are you a Christian or do you believe in God or anything like that? I am a Christian. I'm a practicing Christian. I belong to a local church. I'm active with the youth ministry there. Do you believe homosexuality is a sin or that it's wrong? No. How come? Jesus preaches us that all humans are humans and we have to love our fellow man. He doesn't stipulate how they dress, how they act. And it's up to our relationship with God to interpret that. It's an individual relationship. And what does that mean for you personally? Needs me to save my life. Like, well, he saved. Let me put it this way: He died for my sins, so I can be forgiven mm. and go to heaven. What about like other sins, like someone who murders or rapes or something? Do we just accept that person too? That goes against the Ten Commandments. That is a sin. But again, they have to answer for it unless it's against the civil law. Do you believe in an afterlife? I I'd say I don't believe in afterlife. But again, it's like not some, some sort of thing where I, I've really thought super deep about it. Okay. But it's sort of just like, I never grew up being told about the afterlife or sort of thinking about it. So yeah, no. Do you kind of think maybe like deep down when you die, something else happens? No, I, I do definitely feel like there is sort of probably something special about death. And like, okay. Th 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 I think there definitely is a possibility of, of an afterlife, yeah. Do you believe uh, in an afterlife? That is what I've been taught. Okay. You're not so sure? I haven't seen any documented proof yet, but that is what I've been taught, yes. Where do you think you would go when you die? Limbo. <laughs> Why is that? You did some good, but some bad, it sounds like, maybe? I think it's to, like, define what is good. I think 99% of us are not as good as we think we are. Oh, I certainly agree with that. So do you think you're a, a good person? Yeah, the only thing, nah, uh, I guess not, the way they see it. Can I ask you a few questions to see if you are a good person? How many lies have you told in your entire life? I told too many, uh, they probably crucified me. <laughs> I told a lot of lies, believe me. Okay. Uh, what do you call someone who tells lies? They're liars. Every, every, uh, yeah, they're liars and uh, the heart is evil. Mm. Have you ever stolen anything in your life? Oh yeah, a whole bunch. <laughs> so what do you call someone who steals? The only thing what you steal it for. See, I stole because I was homeless at one time to survive. The Bible actually does talk about homeless people stealing or those who are poor and stealing. And there's a prayer that says, God, don't give me too much that I forget you, but also don't give me too little that I end up stealing and blaspheming or profaning your name. So it is actually still wrong to do that. Well, you um, it's not wrong, but you ain't got a choice to live or die. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Have you ever looked upon a woman and lusted after her? I started to, then I stopped myself and said, no, that's just a beautiful lady and God prayed a beautiful thing. Have you ever had sex before marriage? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> so, you have so you have lusted then. Last one, have you ever cursed at somebody? Yeah. You know, Jesus says to even call someone a fool or to curse at someone is that commit murder in your heart. So by your own admission, Arthur, right? I'm not judging you. You've admitted to lying. You you are. It don't matter to me. You've admitted to lying, stealing, adultery, fornication, and murder of the heart. So when you die and you stand before God and he judges you based on his commandments, are you innocent or guilty? Well, that'd be guilty. So would that mean- you forgot, I've been saved already. If there is a, a heaven and a hell, yeah. where do you think you would go when you died? I actually, I've thought about that a lot. Even though I don't believe in God, I've thought about, you know, if I'm a good person or like okay. that sort of thing. And I honestly, I don't know. I'd like to say I would go to heaven. Because okay. like, I feel like I try to do good things, but like sometimes, especially like, you know, if I have thoughts that I feel like are not great, I think yeah. like, am I going to be judged for this? Or am mm. I going to be judged for, you know, 
my actions or even if I do something bad like is it gonna know my intentions or like yeah. God, I don't know I don't know like I, I, I guess maybe I do believe in God a little bit but like yeah just like I believing like like that there is such thing as a good person and bad person I think so okay. I have I've thought about that okay I'd like to think I go I would go to heaven but I definitely I mean I've done bad things I've thought bad things yeah I think most people have like, yeah. things that I'm not happy about like I've done in the past so good according to the Bible would actually be moral perfection unattainable that is very true that's why Jesus forgives us yeah so I was gonna say if moral perfection is God's standard then that means all of us can't get into heaven right when we die so oh, it's interesting yeah. um, in the Bible yeah. Jesus in the Ten Commandments it says do not commit adultery yeah do not commit murder mm -hmm. a lot of people haven't done that right yeah Jesus raises the standard. He mm -hmm. says to even look with lust upon a woman is to commit adultery in your yeah. heart with her. And to even be angry at your brother or to curse at someone is to commit murder in God's eyes. Mm -hmm. So you keep saying how like your thoughts, right? Yeah. Like, is he gonna know? He does know. Yeah. Like if, if God's creator, he created your mind and your brain, he does know all yeah. your thoughts. And you're right that there is a judgment for yeah. that. So just based on that standard, Mm -hmm. Right. If you've just lusted after a woman, hated someone in your heart, even to covet, the yeah. Bible says is wrong. How do you think you would do? I think I've definitely had those thoughts. So okay. I, I guess I wouldn't do well. Does yeah. that concern you? Like if that's um, true? I think if that's true, that definitely would concern me. Yeah. Unless we ask forgiveness. Let's say I broke a law, right? Let's say I was speeding and I got into a car crash and maybe even like killed somebody in the car crash. And I just asked the judge and I say, judge, I know you're very loving and forgiving. Can you forgive me? Would that be enough for him to just let me go? That's civil. That's not religious. That's civil. That varies based on your governments. I would think that that would be wrong for God to just forgive people without some way to forgive them. Does that make sense? He can't just forgive any. Now to whether the person truly repents. Okay. Does that person truly repent? Yeah. Did they acknowledge that they did wrong? and they ask forgiveness. If they're just doing it to run through the paces, that's different. Okay. But if you truly repent, yeah. again, it's that individual relationship with Christ and with God. So how do you know you've been saved already if you're still doing, or do you still do those things? Once you, once you get baptized, even though you fall down that road, you come back and ask for forgiveness. Repent your sins and ask for forgiveness, you can be forgiven. So that's the important thing is to actually repent, which means to not only be sorry, but to turn from your sins. So, because it says in the Bible that even the demons believe in God, they believe Jesus is the son of God, they believe he died on the cross, but demons aren't going to heaven when they die, right? They're still going to hell too. So it's not enough just to intellectually believe that Jesus died for your sins. You have to be born again. You have to turn from those sins and believe in Jesus. I, I believe that God has made a way for us to be forgiven and that's through Jesus. It's called the gospel, right? The good news. Can I share with you what the Bible yeah, calls for sure. the, yeah, the good, good news? Good. Yeah. In the Bible, there's one God. He's creator of the heavens and the earth and he's a righteous judge. He's yeah. a good God and he's righteous. His standard of morality is perfection. Mm -hmm. So because he's perfect, he requires perfection yeah. of us. But none of us meet that, right? Yeah. We've all sinned. We've all fallen short. Like I said, even the lust, the hatred, but mm -hmm. even lying right yeah. like how many lies have we ever told yeah. you, right we, yeah. we don't even know anytime we don't love people the way we ought to so because of that the Bible says that God's wrath abides on us mm -hmm. we're actually under his judgment yeah Jesus said that this is the judgment that light has come into the world but men love the darkness rather than the light and be, they're already condemned because they don't believe but God loves us he sent his son to die for you mm -hmm. so Jesus lived the perfect sinless life you and I never could Jesus never sinned and he died the death that you and I deserve on the cross. So you and I lack righteousness, Jesus gained that righteousness. And you and I deserve punishment, Jesus took that punishment so that we wouldn't have to go to hell and that we could live forever with him. And Jesus rose again from the grave and he defeated sin and death and now he offers that to anyone who repents and believes in him. What do you think about that? So I guess maybe where we differ is who Jesus is because I personally don't think someone can live in sexual immorality and still get to heaven. Because it does say in 1 Corinthians that even the sexually immoral do not inherit the kingdom of God. Is that your place to judge or God's? Well, it is God's place. And I believe he's, he's already made the judgment in his word. That's your belief. The Bible talks a lot about this false conversion. It's a lot of people believing that they're saved when they're not. So Jesus on judgment day says that many will say to him, Lord, Lord, did you not teach in our streets? Did we not eat and drink in your presence? But he'll say, depart from me. I never knew you. Does that scare you that that could be you? 
No, because I know I ain't saved. So, I ain't gonna say I'm saved or I'm not. I've been baptized once while I was a teenager, and the devil got a hold of me somehow. But <laughs> So baptism actually doesn't save somebody. And the thief on the cross is a good example because he wasn't baptized. And okay, so when I got baptized, I turned away from drugs, man. I was going to hold my friends for a long time. Then I ended up got some money, and I ended up falling apart because I didn't know what to do with it. All I knew how to do was spend it on beer and alcohol. I think that's, I mean, I've never heard it sort of put that way before. Okay. Yeah. It's definitely I think, an interesting idea. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. to me, that message changed my no, life. Yeah, I, I think, no, there, there is something profound about that. Yeah. 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 Like, uh, just the fact that we don't deserve it. Yeah. Right? And God still loved us. He sent his only mm -hmm. son to die for us. Like, he wants us to know him. Mm -hmm. Like, that's one thing the Bible says about Jesus is he came to make God known to us. Yeah. And so we can be in a right right yeah. relationship with him so one of the marks of being a, a true christian and and knowing that you're going to heaven is realizing you're not good but we started this conversation and you said that you think you are good so that's why i was going well, I'm through good as well. i don't go around robbing people i i, I done a story i ain't going somebody yeah i did a bicycle a long time ago unless we acknowledge our sin and we and we say to god i am not good there's no way we can get into heaven because we're forfeiting the thing that we need which is the humility and the recognition that we need a savior. Do you read the Bible? <laughs> Not religiously. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, um, I would just encourage you then to maybe read it and then see like where maybe you don't agree with it and figure out why or where you do agree with it and rejoice in that. Because I, I do think it's a big deal. I think it shows people who really do know God. Basically, you're saying that based on that point of view, that everybody that's here today for the festival, whether they are one of the LGBT community or an ally, in your opinion, do they need to seek repentance? I do believe the Bible says that. People could be good and do mean things. We're all human. We make mistakes. It's up to us to correct them and not do them again. See, that's where I disagree. I do think you're right. We are sinful. We all make mistakes. But we need to believe in Jesus. We need to put our trust in him. Yeah, even Jesus said we all, we all are weak. And it says in 1 John that if you're faithful to confess your sins, that God is faithful and just to forgive you of all unrighteousness. So, like I said before, it's being born again. It's it's really turning from those sins. It's acknowledging that these are wrong and, and they break God's heart and I don't want to do them anymore. Jesus said, unless you're born again, you will not make it into the kingdom. Yeah, you're right about that one. Okay, but it's going to take time. I got to get into the formality again. I, I personally have, like, trouble believing in a higher power just based on, like, sort of science. Like, sort of, like, the science. Like, I, I like I haven't seen the scientific ba basis for that sort of, like, belief. Okay. But I think I do respect belief a lot because I think there's something very strong about that. And also just I think it makes people better um, and it has the potential to make a lot of people better. So I've always admired it. Yeah. I feel like I've never been able to find it in myself to genuinely, you know, have that sort of belief in, in anything that like where I haven't seen like sort of the like the basis for that. Um, so I don't, I don't know what your your thoughts on that are. So I have a, a couple of things when it comes to creation. Like yeah. for one, I've heard it said before, like when you see a building, right? Mm -hmm. Like you didn't think that building just popped up yeah. by a random chance, right? Yeah. And how do we know it didn't? Because yeah. it has design, it has yeah. structure, it has yeah. purpose. So to me, when I look at creation, I know that there's a, crea a creator behind yeah. it because of that, because mm -hmm. there's design and purpose. Yeah. Another thing I like to think of is our DNA, yeah. right? Is It's code. Mm -hmm. It's like written code. Yeah. Literally like the yeah. G, T, A. Yeah, like yeah the letters, yeah. And if you were to just throw a whole bunch of letters into the ocean, yeah. it would never, what are the chances that it could write like a William yeah. Shakespeare script? Yeah. You can't, like yeah. that, the chances are so close to zero mm -hmm. that it basically is zero. Mm -hmm. And yet you and I are walking genetic codes, we're yeah. libraries, we're books. So to me, that is evidence mm -hmm. for God. I don't know if that does anything for you. You said it takes time, which is interesting because salvation can happen in a moment, time right? To be naked time. Right, like we're not even promised to when we end this conversation, one of us could die, right? So we can get right with God right now. Whereas I think humans are humans and we need to support each other. Whether it's the people here or the poor people up on Main Street going to the soup kitchen because of their drug addictions. Yeah. We support our humankind. You can head up to the 400 block of Poughkeepsie and see the people that are up there helping them and preach to the people that are affecting their lives and their families' lives through their addictions. Sure. And I, I've done that too, because I, I, I I believe that. I believe that one of the ways we can help people is to share the good news, which is why I'm here trying to do that thing. I don't know. I feel like I've heard that argument and I've also heard okay. like rebuttals to it that I feel like 
are convincing. So I feel like that is always a barrier, has been a barrier for me um, in sort of thinking about that. Okay. But yeah, I've always really had a big admiration for, I think, people who do believe. Sure, um, yeah, yeah. And like, I just feel like I've never been personally able to get there myself. Okay. Well, I hope maybe this yeah. conversation- No, I definitely, it makes think. me think about it, yeah. Cool, yeah, awesome. Yeah. And I, I, we would think this is a divine appointment. That yeah, yeah. If you are searching, if you have been praying, maybe this is an answer. Yeah. Uh, a prayer from God.